Hello, fam, and thank you for coming to another episode of Dale Chanel's Sportish World, where we're featuring a family affair. Okay, yes, it's me and you and you and me. We want to know what you think about this story we got going on between, once again, the cookie lady. Yep, that's her. So, Neil White, who knows she is? You know what I'm saying? The cookie lady is coming for Bravo and the producer. Come on, they just put her out on Front Street. Drain her blood and her body dry. And now she wants some more attention. Okay, I'm like, girl, girl, did you get enough attention when they mean the fans or the followers or the haters or whoever, you know? Girl, they were weighing your website out. They, where you go and submit reviews on your cookies and the cookie store and the environment or whatever, they were wearing your behind out. It had shit it down after you appeared on that episode trying to get Tanya Sam's, uh, trying to tell her the truth about her fiance by way of Kenya Moore. How did that fare, honey? How did that fare? Because it didn't look too good for you. They were dogging you out. And now you back for more? Is this part two, girl? Is this part two of you wanting to get on a show? Did Kenya Moore call herself trying to say, if you do this for me, I make sure you get to be a friend of the show or just that third. How did it turn out, girl? Evidently, it didn't turn out lucrative for you because you're back again. Okay? Kenya Moore just used you to sweeten up her storyline and to throw salt on another constituent, I would say, of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Girl, how silly can you be? How silly can you be to come back up in here with some tea? And we don't want it. We don't want it, girl. We don't want it. You're not a main player. You're just a pawn in Kenya Moore's daily activities to, again, rust her likability on social media. Okay? And I'm like, Eva, Eva, girl, Eva the diva. Why you eating up all them latest cookies? And they gonna talk about, oh, they were so good. Girl, go pay for some, okay? Then tell me, do you still like it? They were free, and you were hungry, you were pregnant. I get it. I got it good. But there was no reason for Kenya to come up there and try to destroy the relationship between those two. Okay? Just because Kenya called herself, how my Kenya wear protective styles, and she wears a wig, and she wanted to show the wig. I'm like, girl, honey, if I left that wig, I would have told them, no, I wouldn't. I'm going to say anything. They would just have to throw that wig away. I'm like, Kenya, you ain't got no money, and you ain't got no, another cell phone charger you could have bought. Or had, you know, hanging up in the house somewhere when you got home. Girl, so to me, it seems like you may have wanted to make that a storyline. I don't know. I'm just looking forward. Excuse me. Forward to in the future. Because I, I didn't quite understand. I didn't understand. I'm like, girl, get tangled. You know, if you're going to get her, get her. Don't bring her fiance in it unless you got cold heart facts. A woman saying that a man hit on her. That could be true all day, every day. She's a very beautiful woman, a cookie lady. You know what I'm saying? Bigger, intact. And I'm sure she's well-educated to a certain degree. You know what I'm saying? She ain't definitely got no etiquette when it comes to talking about a person's man fooling around. And then she's going to do it on a high, powerful platform, such as the Real Housewives of Atlanta that goes global. She's she crazy. She want a storyline. Girl, do cookie lady want to come on to the show? I don't think they would have her. I don't think they would have her. Okay, and then she gonna talk about she gave Kenya Sam's a a, a, a storyline. Hell no, because about Kenya getting on her twirl right there. This is her getting on her own little thing or mimicking her. And then you got a girl, you got a case against you. They say you got fraud, financial identity, financial transition, transition with a stolen credit card. Girl, I don't know. It's all allegedly. Okay, but this is what I pulled up. When I uh, pulled up your name and it came up, I'm like, I didn't have to search hard if I ain't paying no money. I don't do them types of things. I report the news. I don't create the news. You know what I'm saying? I just report on what was already out there. Put my spin on it and give it to my family and let me see what they got to say. Girl, you got a rest. You got a rest. You got a record. Girl. You were arrested at 40? Mm, mm, mm. I can't. And you should know better. You should know better. And it seems like you ain't doing better because you want some more licks. So, hey, they might have got you out, shut your world side down, told people not to come over here with that mess that, you know, aired and you were the forefront of it all. We just want nobody cooking. We want to put people who actually invested, bought the cookies, just to give their 
honest opinion about the cookie. Did it taste good? Did it taste, you know, appetizing? Would you refer somebody? Those type of things. We we didn't want to hear about that. But see, you don't put yourself out there again. You think that same way going to come to your defense again while you out there talking at the side of your neck about the producers of Real Housewives of Atlanta made you look like a fool, girl. Okay, since y'all know my spiel on this, and I'm just going from the title. Never got into the article because, you know, I don't like to leave y'all behind. I like y'all to be in the mess with me when I'm going through the drama myself. It's a family affair. I'm going to partake of the drama. I'm going to want you to do the same. And then you tell me what you felt about it. Your own words, your own perspectives, and down in them comments. Okay? On subject matter, not me. Okay? But anyway, let's go on and get into the story that Ricky... Uh, Mathers had put out for us today uh, over there on her platform, which is Celebrity Insider. She must be a correspondent journalist, and she's writing entertainment news uh, for Celebrity Insider so they can use it, and we can take part on it. Part on it. Okay? Yes, Lord. All right, here we go. She has a title of The Cookie Lady Slams, Real Housewives of Atlanta's Producers. Okay? For creating drama, says Tanya Sams. Wouldn't have had a storyline without her. I'm like, girl, you're pretty and all. And you seem to have some entrepreneur spirit behind you since you're trying to uh, have your own business in the cookie world. Uh, girl, but slow your roll. Tanya Sam's got here before you did, so it just is what it is, okay? I don't know what you would. <laughs> girl, you kind of look like, well, my name Govan. Lisa Govan of the Beverly Hills. No, of the. What do you got, basketball wild? Yeah, I can't remember her name. Anyway, out of favor with her. But like I said, we're going to get into this article. It says, if you've watched this season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know that the cookie lady played a bigger part in Tanya Sam and Kenya Moore's feud than originally thought. The woman behind the scandal recently appeared on a podcast where she slams Real Housewives of Atlanta producers and shades Tanya. See what I'm saying? Somebody gave her some bait, she took it, and now she over there, what do you call it, squealing, snitching, telling everything she could about her Coming on the show, making that guest appearance, cameo appearance, as you will, on a talk show, a podcast. Who did, what's wrong with this lady? Okay, what's wrong with her? I guess she wants the bullets in her back verbally, okay? And thank you, Jasmine Brand, for putting that out there. Going over to Jasmine Brand's um, little, well, I wouldn't say little, it's far bigger than mine, but she has a YouTube channel as well as a vlogging site dot com, okay? Go on over there and tell the devs and they'll send you for all your salacious news that you can use. Go to the Jasmine brand. Okay. But anyway, child going back to this article. It said the cookie lady is Cynthia Bailey's wine cellar neighbor. Okay, we knew that from taping, okay? Kenya and Cynthia went to a dessert a delicious dessert when the owner approached them about Paul Judd. Okay. She claimed that he flirted with her during a night out. Well, my sidebar, a beautiful woman such as herself, a uh, cookie lady, uh, why wouldn't a man flirt with you, okay? You have all the assets, okay? You have the bodily outward features that men are looking for, okay? Pray on. So, that wouldn't be hard to ascertain, okay? However, if you didn't consider yourself going back to his room, Having photos of y'all in the bed together or whatever. That's a mute point. Okay, but that's just an aside bar. But going back to the article, it says after Sam's angrily well, man, after Sam's angered more by revealing she wore a hairpiece to Toronto, the Queen of Twirl invited Chan to brunch where she told her story to Sam. Shania White recently opened up to behind the velvet rope. Where she reveals a few things. Okay, she out there talking to the Real Rope girl. My goodness. Okay. But on what the Real Housewives of Franchise had said on their Instagram account, it says the Real Housewives of Atlanta, the cookie lady, Shania White, sets the record straight on David Young Tufts behind the Velvet Rope. Y'all can catch him at Behind Velvet Rope or at David Yotel on uh, Instagram. Okay, so check out his podcast. But anyway, 
she was, she was on his podcast, and they were talking about what really happened with Tanya Sam and her husband. Or Tanya's fiance, I should say, and how the producers of the Real Housewives of Atlanta manipulated the situation for their own personal gain. Shania says, despite what Tanya says, Tanya, uh, they say husband, but we know fiance, did hit on her all night, and she definitely could have had him if she wanted him. I'm like, go ahead, cook a lady, spill those beans. Your truth, not necessarily is the truth, but anyway, she explains that she wanted to give Cynthia. You want to get Cynthia and Kenya heads up about Tanya's? He's saying husband. We saying fiance. Actions off camera, probably out of the respect to Tanya. But that's when she went to do so. She noticed a mysterious phone had been placed on the floor by producers to record the conversation and stir up drama for the show. I'm like, well, Tanya, if I'm confused because. Why would the producers be in your shop at the time of you trying to have a conversation? I mean, was this pre-planned? Because it sounds like it was pre-planned, premeditated, and you know what was all going on. So you really didn't want to have a private conversation. Because let me repeat it. You said, when she went to do so, me and Tanya, she noticed a mysterious phone had been placed on the floor by producers. Now, uh, Shania... How do you know it was placed by producers unless you saw them put that down now and you wanted to become a storyline of Kenya Moore's to attack and bring down Tanya Sam's? Okay, don't you see how disturbing that looks? Don't you see how premeditated that looks? Girl, ah, do you not watch Criminal Minds or CSI or any of that investigative reporting type of scenario going on? Girl, you was a pawn. A stupid pun in Kenya Moore's plan to take down to take down tank fans. Okay, that's just my opinion. Let's get back to the article. Okay, she said the whole thing that the producers put the phone on the floor to record the conversation and story drama for the show. Shania says Tanya should be thankful. Her uh, fiance hit on Shania because it gave Tanya a storyline this season and helped both the franchise as a whole as well as Bravo in helping with the drama this season. You're welcome, she says. Girl, no, you're stupid. Girl, you're stupid. You're stupid. And twirl on that, twirl on that, twirl on that, as Stranger Paul say. All right, because I'm trying to figure out, did you get paid, baby? Did you get paid? Or did you just come on the show for 15 minutes of fame uh, you will always be known as the cookie lady. We wouldn't even really remember your name too much unless we were just doing research on you and your criminal activity that you've done in the past, okay? Yeah, you created a little arrest report for yourself when you was 40 years old. Do you remember? Do you remember? Girl, sit down somewhere. But anyway, okay, anyway. <sighs> yeah. That's pretty much all that article was about. She was on a podcast. Um, judging by the comments on the post, Real Housewives of Atlanta fans are still not feeling the baker. In fact, Yelp had to stop in to stop false reviews from being made after the missing episode. Yes, yeah, see, that was Yelp. I couldn't remember what uh, site that you go to to put down your opinions and your suggestions on a product that you may have uh bought as a consumer yeah yep had to help her out because girl she would get so much negative press and they were doing it under her cookie uh website where you just go and make your opinions on her product that she's selling girl she had so much bad banter in there you know she asked for help she demanded help for yeah but now you start you stirring the pot again and they helped her behind out one time. I don't think they're going to come to your defense again when you took your own, through your own volition, set yourself up to be on a podcast where you're going to talk about Tanya Sam's The Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise, knowing you that that's going to get some tea and get you out here on these social media streets. Girl, is the cooking shop not doing well? Girl, did you not show a profit this year or last year? I'm just wondering. Because ain't this act? Ain't that much fame in the world to come out here and have people dig or so much dirt on you that you definitely didn't want to have out? Okay, because you sure would have stated it some form of fashion, but, you know, that didn't happen. Girl, I don't know, hon. I don't know, fam. What y'all think about this situation? Damn, even sitting up there eating all the cookies look like a pregnant woman. 
wanted to cuss her out so bad too about the situation situation about not taking off for her, standing, you know, up for her colleague or whatnot and telling that cookie lady to get the hell on out that door. Of course she had to throw some food at her or something that she didn't want. But you know, I just don't like another woman trying to tell another woman down when it comes to their man. Hell, stand up to the woman, tell her down all all day long if you must. But don't go for it. A man that didn't come on and didn't express his opinions or couldn't come on the camera willingly and express his opinions about the situation. Come give it to you. Yeah, he probably did hit on you. Was it something you should have exposed and told? Hell no. If you was a true woman or mistress or however you wanted to play it up, you should have got your coins, girl. You should have laid down, spread it wide, and, you know, got it going on. He could be your sugar daddy. But that's not me talking. It's just my alter ego going around saying, you played yourself. Okay, you played yourself and you came up short. All right, I'm just saying, girl. I'm just saying. Woo. I mean, because he ain't, he ain't um, married to Tanya. He's just fiancé. They're trying to live that life. But, you know, I'm just saying, if you played your cards right, you might have could have had something else on the side. Okay? But ain't no sense of blackmailing nobody. Ain't no sense of messing with nobody that already got somebody. And that's the life that I live. Okay. But, girl, I mean, this ain't high school. You know what I'm saying? You can do whatever you want to do in high school. You know, but when you mess with somebody grown, you know, I mean, it ain't right either way. But it's just the it's just point. You know what I'm saying? Just the point. But I don't know, fam. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this situation. What do you think about the cooker lady coming out again for the second time? Like, girl, they probably ain't going to give you no show. They won't even give Nene her own special. All right. And we know Nene a lot longer than you, girl. Uh-uh. You might have needed to have teamed up with Candy or something to this degree. <laughs> Kenya ain't on, on no winning team herself, okay? Kenya's staying, uh, trying to stay, what do you call it, relevant in these social media streets herself. She ain't got no spinoff show. I don't know who would really watch it because it ain't nothing but foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, fake, shitty behavior going on. So I really don't know. You know what I'm saying? We would watch it just to get all kiki, but we were like, uh-uh. Because I like having Candy and it just be her and Todd. Y'all would be the person we'd be walking, but he'll be cussing her out and shit. Uh, because Candy's not really um an exciting person to watch day in and day out. Okay, she gotta have somebody um uh, pumping her up, giving her some somewhat of a storyline. But we don't want to hear nothing about the babies. They are cute, they are adorable, but we're not here for the kids. Okay, we hear about some mileage drama. However, you want to give it to us. All right, and it seems like it's gonna be coming on Candy special. With her aunts, her mama, and Todd. Okay, and she out there trying to battle all of them, pretty much. And you're still going to come up short. But that's all I have, fam, for this video. Get down in the comments. Y'all let me know about subject matter. How do y'all feel about the cooker lady coming out again? Trying to get her two cents in on the Real Housewives of the Lamp. Okay? Girl, she needs to sit down somewhere in my book. Sit down and don't come back. She don't want to bake the cookies no more clothes shop. Okay, go into something else. Like celebrity gossip vlogging or, or somewhere. I, I don't know. Go be an extra or it's in the acting world. Do something. But, girl, we don't need you on Real Housewives of Atlanta. We don't respect you. We don't care for you. Or I should say, I don't care for you. I don't respect you. So keep it moving, girl. Keep it moving. Get on another reality show. Better yet, go try Hip Hop Atlanta. They might can take you. Shake it, bake it. I don't know. And then throw you out with the rest of the tray. I, I don't know, cookie later. But no, you cannot come on Real Housewives of Atlanta if you wanted my vote. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. No. <laughs> okay. And just like Fraser Paul say, twirl on that. Twirl on that. Twirl on that. Okay, family, get down in the comments. Let me know what y'all felt about this particular article. And um, make your comments known. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Okay, guys, I'll see y'all next video. Good night.